What if I told you your coffee mug and the machine that made it belong to two different worlds of economics? Ever wondered why economists get so obsessed with things like consumption goods and capital goods? Here's the secret. Every single product around you tells a story about who uses it and why. Consumption goods are what you and I use to satisfy our wants. Food, clothes, your smartphone. Interesting fact, one, the average person uses over 10,000 consumption goods in their lifetime. Capital goods are the unsung heroes, machines, tools, and buildings that create other goods. Fact two, a single industrial robot can replace the work of six human workers in manufacturing. Final goods are ready for use, like a finished laptop. Intermediate goods, still in the making, like the microchips inside that laptop. Fact three, the smartphone industry depends on over 40,000 intermediate components. Fact four, capital goods are not counted in GDP as consumer goods to avoid double counting. Fact five, some goods, like a car, can be both. A car for personal use is for consumption. A car used as a taxi becomes a capital good. So next time you grab your coffee or start your car, ask yourself, am I using a consumption good or a capital one? You'll never see your stuff the same way again.